Ah, welcome time travelers and welcome new time travelers. As always, if you're new to this channel and enjoy learning about history one event at a time, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today we're going to start out in 1785 when Bettina von Armen one of the outstanding women writers in modern German literature was born in Frankfurt am Main. Um, in 1841, after serving only one month, William Henry Harrison became the first U.S. president to pass in office. He was succeeded by Vice President John Tyler. And I'll get more into detail about each of the president's uh, life and what they did while in office as soon as I finish all of the history of them. I got to maybe like the, I want to say either the 11th or the 15th president. Anyway. Nine years later, in 1850, with a population totaling about 1,600, Los Angeles was incorporated as an American city. Uh, moving on to 1962, or 1862, I'm sorry, when the American Civil War, American forces, or not American, Union forces under General George B. McCallan began the unsuccessful Pentecostal campaign to capture the Confederate cap capital of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, 1913 brought us, though some sources may say 1915, muddy waters an American blues guitarist and singer who played a major role in creating the modern rhythm and blues style was born. In 1928, American poet Maya Aglu, perhaps known for her several volumes of autobiography, which explored the themes of economic, racial, and sexual oppression was born. On this day in 1949, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, was formed. The founding mem member nation was of, of the, let me restart that one. On this day in 1949, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization was formed, also known as NATO. The founding member of the founding member nation of this military allegiance being Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Moving on to 1958, when the peace symbol, designed by Gerald Hopman, made its first public appearance displayed on a signage during a protest sieged by the British company for nuclear disarmament. The following year, in 1959, in West Africa, the Mali Federation, a short-lived union between autonomous, autonomous territory of the Sudanese Republic and Sengal, led by Leopard Segal, came into being. The next stop we'll be making will be uh, the following year in 1960 when uh, the biblical epic Ben-Hur B 
became the first film to win 11 Academy Awards. It was notably received, uh, it notably received Oscars for Best Picture, Director uh, for William Wyler, and Lead Actor for Charlton uh, Heston, Nine Short Years Later, in 1969, American surgeon Denton Coley implemented the first complete artificial heart of a human. Several days later, the pe patient received a donor heart, but died shortly thereafter. So, if you grew up like myself with computers and using Word documents and are familiar with the applications and were wondering when it was founded, then look uh, no further back than 1975 when Bill Gates and Paul Allen founded Microsoft, which became the world's largest personal computer software company. Um, 1998 is when American figure skater Michelle uh, Kwan wins her second world figure skating championship in... Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, Russian Ozaki Yargadan won the men's title two days earlier. Um, let's move on to the beginning of this century with the year 2000 when the government of South Korea ordered some 85% of the country's livestock markets closed in an attempt to end an outbreak of foot and mouth disease that had struck Asian livestock. Two years later, in 2002, after 27 years of fighting, the Anglan government had an UNA signed a ceasefire agreement ending the country's civil war. Our next stop will, is in 2004 in Formula One auto racing. Uh, Ferrari's driver, uh, Michael Scamacher, was the winner of the inaugural uh, Brahan Grand Prix. Moving on to 2010, when three suicide car bombings and Baghdad's dipl uh, diplomatic quarter killed at least 30 people and injured and injured scores. Um, our next stop will be in 2013, when American film critic Roger Ebert who was perhaps the best known for his profession and first person to receive a Peltzer Prize for film critics in 1975, passed away at the age of 70. Now, last year in 2013, in a Manhattan court, former U.S. Donald, for, former U.S. President Donald Trump was arraigned on 34 felony charges related to alligated, an alligated hush money scheme to avoid a sex scandal during the 2016 presidential campaign. He became the first former president in, the, in U.S. history to face criminal charges. Until next time...